Welcome to your TV room. I'm happy to support you. Today is August 22nd, Thursday, day after the open Yesterday we have a huge run. First was up, downside, and then upside, and then downside again. Today was opening flat, pre market. Uh, a little bit move and then recover and then move stuck flat one. This is usually happen when they have a big run like yesterday. By the way, by the way, crude oil is moving big time. We up almost two percent crude oil. It's huge. So let's see if they're gonna uh, crude oil gonna fill the gap this moment because we have a big gap to fill. Crude. All right. Let's see. Anyway. So let's let's uh, check what's going on the code in the daily chart and the daily and two chart and three minute chart. Just one second. Right. Daily chart could well. You guys can hear me first. Okay. Here's your good one. You guys can see here we have this resistance here and support and resistance here. Have the previous day closed, have the previous day open. We passed it. We already passed it already, so we need to. And we have this 86.57, but this is too far. So this is great. There's nothing up in And momentum now is trying, you can see now that it reach this support three, two times and come back this way. So there's a chance, that's why we have this big move upside to the crude oil. So crude oil and bias is bullish, is bullish, sorry, is bullish. 20, 40 minutes. If you guys see this red, yellow arrow up or down, this is up, this, this is the bull flag what I'm talking about. And I program it so I can show to me, you need to look at it. This is a big flag. 30 minutes is bullish and we have higher highs, higher lows. We have a nice, we have a nice here uptrend in the momentum. And momentum still strengthening yet because Mark is, 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 uh, is pulling back, but you know, Mark is making higher highs, but this is, this is low, higher, this is low, is higher than this low, and this low is most equal this low. So it's matching with the price action. It's no really that. So again, 240 minutes is bullish. Let's see if you have any support resistance you can, you can check. And we have here this very obvious one, Let's look right now. And that's it because this is, this is a four hour chart. So two bars being to one day, actually. So this big time to reach it. 30 minute chart. Same bearish. We have volume here. We have. Mm -hmm. We still have a bullish momentum. Yeah, we have a bullish momentum. There is no hidden version, higher highs, higher lows. But yeah, this is one. It's kind of, I like this when it goes down and, and then up and then up and then down and go up again. So we might have a nice move with the open. And we have this line here, which is 84.8, which is the same for, uh, point eight two with the uh, 240 minute chart. And we have this line here, which is 84.13. And draw this line. Yeah. That's it for a few minutes. That's it, five minutes. It's bullish. You guys can see. We have this nice move upside. So overall momentum now, overall bias for the good oil is bullish. Go down. Let's 
Why this doing here? Right, we have seven minutes. Oh, yeah. Have seven minutes. The question is. And please speak, can we stop English, please? We have a lot of uh, speaking. This is good oil, buddy. This is good oil. We treat good oil at 9 a.m. and then R2I at 9 30 a.m. Okay. Good oil, 9 a.m., R2I, 9 30 a.m. Six minutes. Any question or support? And R two I today, I might, I might wait five six minutes before I trade because the market is flat, pre, pre market, and I told you the lag market is flat, always move move big time. So I might wait another five minutes before uh, I'm not might not trading it out. Let's see. At least if, it's, if I see big chance, very obvious. <clears throat> Five minutes. Almost three minutes. Almost two minutes. Do you know if you're going to fill the gap this morning or not?
One minute, 15 seconds. One minute, 30 seconds. Okay. I see a lot of volume coming in, short side. Let's see if you're going to fill the gap or not. 15 seconds. Nine seconds, she felt, yeah. Seven seconds. And it's 9 a.m. Let's see. Just no, no, not yet, sorry. Right, we have one minute more, sorry, sorry. We have one more minute. Forty seconds. Thirty seconds. We have a nice momentum still going down. We have a nice momentum now. We have a nice volume coming. Let's see. Fifteen seconds. In just a pause bar, and we have five, four, three, two, one, and it's nine a.m. Let's see. Working as a station. Again, we might go long or short, let's see, I don't know. Still not yet. Momentum is good. I have the vision upside, but I have, I have, I have volume. For, I have a lot of uh, seller volume more than one second. Let's see. We still, we might go long, by the way. We might go long. We might go long. And we are long. We are long. Okay, keep your stop at the same, do not move them. Keep the stop at the same rock movement. Keep everything the same and reverse, by the way, like I said. And this break even. I'm going to move this one to be at 84.55, and the second contract going to be at 84.34. 84.34, and the second contract. And uh, sorry, the last contract will be very target head. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. So I'm going to use that one contract now to be at 84.29, and the second one I'm going to trade at 46. That's it. That's our trade in the group on a good oil. They're going to do anything else. We have to move market now, move, move 30, 35 ticks. So I'm going to keep my stop for the last one at 84.46. And, and the second one, I'm going to keep it at 84.69. Let's see the market going to roll over. Nice move to the upside. Nice move. Can move my stop now. The second contract now to be at 84.76. And the second one at 84.58. Oh, market is rolling, man. What the heck is going on here? Do we gotta have the nice again? Nice for nice move for the all right. Let's see, man. So my, my second contract now gonna be 84.76. The last one. I'm gonna start now using the 40 ticks adjustment. Because the market now moved already 62, 62 ticks, 62 points, sorry. So I'm going to now try to add my stop a little bit lower, maybe at for the second one, last one, sorry, to be at 80, uh, sorry, 64.70. I stopped on the first one. Nice profit. Still. Trailing the last one at 
84.70 my, my loss my stop loss <clears throat> Still waiting, see if I stop out or not. I see hidden diversion, so the chance the market will not stop us, stop us out is, is good. So the market might not stop us out. I see any diversion. Let's see. And if you guys can see the still momentum, the one minute screen. Still going to stop us out. I forgot to copy this trade in my, in my personal account, Michael. <laughs> I didn't take it. I forgot. It's okay. It's fine. Because I have to read copy, so I copy this trade in many e minis to my account in my account. Contract 6 contract. It's fine. It's almost 150 bucks in micros. Almost. Almost 200 bucks. Yeah. And if you do six micros, this almost this uh, six to 200 bucks move. It's fine. Let's see what you have here. What do you have here? Oh yeah, yeah. We have the uh, we have the diversion. We have the uh, eighty-five point three two. Let's look at the actual eighty-five point three two. I still see big, big buying volume here. Just one second. Five minute chart, I see a lot of uh, buying volume. Very minute chart. I see sellers coming step in. So I might add one more contract, let's see. Might add one more contract. I'm gonna add one more contract now. 
We are in this contract now, and our market is still moving, man. It's so nice. So nice. I'm going to start now to tighten my stop to be at, wow, wow, wow 85.30. What a move. What a trade, man. What a trade. What a trade. What a trade. I'm going to tighten my stop a little bit. I'm going to add it to 85.37. I did a little bit, 85.37. I'm going to add my stop now to be at 85.54. 85.54. This, this is a 10 points move. Uh, uh, sorry. Uh, uh, one second. My stop going to be at 85.53. This is a 10 point freaking move. Uh, crude oil. 10 points move crude oil. It's a, it's a huge move. It's a huge move. Big move, big time. If you guys want to trade it, you can keep it full text. I'm tied it because you know I had one contract. So if you guys want to tie your stop, add it at 85.33. If you want to, if you want to use the white stop, add your stop at 84.33. So you can stay in the trade if you want. I'm tied it because I had one more contract. I stopped that. You should be staying in the trade if you add 84.33. Should be staying in the trade. Should be staying in the And shit, man, I missed 400 bucks move. That's fine. I missed 400 bucks move. That's fine. Look at this. Look at what we catch here. Anyone stay in a trade, you guys out. If you if you stop loss at 85.33, should be stay in a trade at all. Should be stay in a trade. We are in the home run big time. Big time. Yeah, I'm going to stay this one. I might, I might re enter the market. Because I still, I still see the move the market going to move up. I don't know. I stopped, I stopped off too early because you know, I had more of a contract. This move still have time to go. Still have, we have more mobility app. We have heading diversion, by the way. We have heading diversion. So we have heading diversion. And here, I rise. Oh, it's not confirmed yet. But I see the momentum is picking up on the five minutes. And I see sellers coming at 30 minutes short. You guys out? Everyone out? Anyone out? How many points you make? This is a if you trade six micros, you gotta make 400 bucks for this trade. 400 easy. Six e minis, six out almost four thousand dollars. Four four grand in this trade to trade six e Doris, nice. This is your profit target for today? I missed this trade in life, to be honest. The only one I catch, I catch the last trade, last contract I had. I made almost like 30 bucks. Or so. I missed this whole move because of the freaking, freaking copy. Oh, okay.
That's it for uh, for crude oil. You need to treat crude oil more. Let's focus on RTY. So RTY guys. is not that choppy, but I see smooth, nice move, not very choppy. Let's see. What do you feel now when you take this trade, nice, beautiful 600 bucks trade, six, six micros, and you miss it? You're just trading the same thing. <laughs> I feel horrible. That's fine. <coughs> That's why I like to I like to have a, a check mark when I trade. There's a third copy are working. Everything is fine. I choose the ATM strategy. I choose my account. Everything. Sure, I should check mark it. Sometimes I forgot to do. Two hundred forty. Nice. Let's see what's going on with that. R2I is no big move, but you know, the move itself is nice. You know what I mean? It's not, it's, it's symmetrical. It's not choppy. So let's see. Why have we? Why have my carol? That's weird. That's weird. Right, so let's let's uh, analyze RTY. All right, start with a daily chart. Daily chart, we have a beer flag. The day before yesterday, that's why. See what? See, see guys. Can you imagine this? Yesterday with the FMC day, the day before, the day before, see how the market is working. The day before I get this thing, it's flat. <coughs> to go short. So I should be shorting yesterday the whole day from here, from here, and my stop loss should be there. Around this area. So I could make all this money, the daily chart. See if we get. If I short here, let's say there, there's a daily chart, but 34 points in one day. Anyway, 
So, we have 1751. Actually, 1750. This is the uh, daily support. One seven five zero. It's gonna be way down here, but you know. And we do have this wick here in the market now reacting to it. See, see this wick. See this wick. The market now is reacting this way. This way. One seven six four. One seven six five. Let's see. Yeah, one seven six five. <coughs> yeah, <clears throat> one seven. Seven six five. Yeah, monitoring active right now. <clears throat> so, this is the daily chart, and again, we have this shooting star acting at this is this support. Yes, we do have a momentum downside, but it could that if the market broke at 1750. Oh, we forgot this. We have a 1750, it's a huge number. This is the daily chart number. So I'm gonna make this a line, another line for another color so I can know this is a huge number. One seven five zero. Do not remember guys, if we got any short trade and we reach the one seven five zero, it's gonna be very critical number. Very critical. This is a little chart. 240 minute chart. Yesterday we have this consolidation, it came up with the consolidation. <coughs> it's bearish. We have a short signal, bit flag at 1747, 1750. Yeah, it is around 1750. So, so this area here, I should say, from 1750, so 1747, this is a, a, a demand zone. This is a demand, <clears throat> a demand zone. So when you reach this area from 1750 to 1747, this is a demand zone. Should be careful because the market most likely would bounce out, at least for maybe an hour or two, and then if you are gonna break it, will break it, but not not not. And by the way. <clears throat> We are almost 13 points from the demand zone. Almost 13 points from the demand zone. I'm going to keep pushing downside. Let's see if we have any other 24 minutes, 240 minutes. Uh, yes, that's good. That's good. Number and the percent on the top left and the right. This is this is the uh, indicator. It's called mid change. Mid change display. Make change the story. Make <clears throat> change the split. So we added one two times. One you choose percentage, and you can add it around one, around points. But one top right, top left. That's it. So can thirty minutes. We have we have the three minutes here performing now micro trend. So micro trend now the resistance for micro trend will be or the time to go short the micro trend will be at 1760, 1760.2, which is the same line we have. So this is all confluence. So if we got a short signal at 1760, it's gonna be confluence with all the all the three 30 minute chart, 240 minute chart. So now everything is 
showing we're going to go downside. But we have the 1750, 1747.70 area acting as a demand zone. So we're going to watch this. Area. That's it. That's it. Let's see. Anyone, anyone know this pattern? Anyone know what is this? I teach you guys in the, in the, in the stock market class. What is this pattern? It's not perfect. Actually, what is this pattern? Well, this one, I need uh, this pattern here. It's not perfect, but you know. Anyone know what is this? Anyone know? Nope, it's not double top. I, I don't read double top, but it's not double top. It's not it's not perfect, but think about it. Head and shoulders. Head and shoulders. That's why when you break this head and shoulders, see what happens. Woo! And we got a, a, a bull flag out of the head and shoulders. This is like this. If you if you if you only take this trade like this, the bull flag or beer flag out of resistance or out of support or out of any freaking thing, 99% accuracy. Almost five minutes. <clears throat> whoa, whoa, whoa. There was a trade at one second at eight fifty. Oh, my God. Yeah. At actually, no, at nine. <coughs> Not exactly. It was a nice one. Nice one. This trade moved almost now 12 points to the downside. It was a nice trade. <coughs> Head and shoulder. Head and shoulder. Head and shoulders. Which indicators? <coughs> Which indicators? Which one can I <clears throat> oh, the arrows. This is not, this is, I bought this indicator. You don't know, need them. It's just to give you signal, but it's very easy to, to you know, to see the, uh, the, beer, the beer above flag. I will teach you guys on the course. It's very easy. You don't need them. <clears throat> it's very easy to see. Beer above flag, it's very easy to see, especially, but you, have, you must have any momentum in the game. You must have any momentum, like MACD or any momentum. And I'll teach you how to use it. You don't need these uh, arrows. <clears throat> so now we have this big move. Now we have this consolidation area. Now. So yeah, this is the consolidation area. We have it now. <clears throat> That's why I might not trade off. <clears throat> might. Let's see. Two minutes almost. <clears throat>
30 seconds. I'm gonna trade, I'm gonna trade this. If they're gonna trade in the open, I'm gonna trade it, uh, Michael. <clears throat> if I can the open. <clears throat> I don't like the chopping is here, chops on here. So market is open now. And we might get a long signal. Okay, they don't left account, man. Very big in this area. So I'm gonna add my buy stop limit now. <clears throat> to be at 1786.7. 1786.7 buy stop limit. Because you already break this this uh, shop zone, so it's nice. One seven eight seven point seven. Give you my buy stop limit. Already in the trade, so move your contract now. All your contract now to be <coughs> actually <coughs> one second. Just one. Move move both of, move first one to be at one. Uh, actually, all of them now. To be at first comment, even I'm going to move this one to be at 17, uh, 17.65.6. And the, the last one going to be at 17. Oh my God. And the last one is going to be at 1764.5. First contact uh, stopped out. <clears throat> Still trailing the second and third. And be mindful, we might go short after this. Let's see. Let's see. I'm gonna start really. I'm gonna start reading. Uh, so now it's forty ticks now. One second. Market now move over almost forty ticks. I'm gonna start adjusting. I have one for. I have one at break even. And the, the, the last one. <clears throat> It's gonna be at 1764.9. I might go short if I stopped out from this contract. I might go short if I stopped out from this contract. <clears throat> I'm shorting. I'm shorting, so my stop now is gonna be at 1770.5. Old contract. <clears throat> now move all of them to be at. 1767.5. Okay, it's a break even hit. So I'm going to move my stop a little bit to be at 1765.3. <clears throat> first target hit. First target hit. So I'm going to I'm going to start trailing now the second one, the third one, sorry. To be at 1764.4. 1764.4. Now the market move. <clears throat> Almost five points. I'm gonna start trailing this, the, the, the second contract to be at five points now. To be at one. Oh, market is moving nice, man. Nice, nice, beautiful move. <clears throat> Seven points now. Seven points now. So my third contract stop will be at. Ooh, nice move, man. Seven points. So my third contract stop will be at 1736, 1763.9. 1763.9. <clears throat> Actually, no. Gonna be at 1763.6. <clears throat> 1763.6.
retired my stock now to be at 1792.9. 1792.9. Because I see the chance to go to go long, but you know, I'm not gonna take it now. So I'm gonna tighten it. Cortex below this pivot. And Mark is, Mark is moving again. Nice. <clears throat> Almost eight points. Nice move, man. Nice move. Ten points now. Ten points now. Two. Holy shit, man. My stuff are gonna be at one seven six zero point four. One seven six one seven eight zero point four. Sorry, one seven six zero point four. Yes. And market now move almost ten points. <clears throat> so I'm gonna adjust my stop to be at one seven one seven. points yeah 1761.2 <clears throat> we're reaching now <clears throat> last day oh there's a chance for bouncing let's see let's see there's a chance for bouncing so i'm gonna adjust my stop now to be at <clears throat> 1760.7 one, seven, one, seven. I see hesitation here, so actually I don't, I don't want to give all this profit. So I'm gonna I just my oh nice, like it's moving now. <clears throat> I'm gonna add my stop now to be at one seven one seven five seven point three. Nice man, eleven points. That's that's sell off, sell off, sell off, sell off. Market now is moving almost twelve points. So. My stop now is going to be at almost 1758.0. Actually, one second. Actually, no. I'm going to add the last pivot. So it's going to be at 1758.8. 1758.8. I already secure from this trade. Eight points from this uh, contract and three points from the other one, 11 and three, almost 15 points from this trade, no point. which is nice. This might be a key one. I'm good. <clears throat> nice day today. Nice, nice two trades in the morning. Home runs, catch two home runs in the morning. Very nice. Momentum still down everywhere. 30 minutes, five minutes, 240 minutes. Momentum is down everywhere. So let's see. Let's see if we can catch another two points. Here we go. There we go. That's my boy. Let's move. Give me 25 points. Give me freaking shit today.
Nice movement. Oh, I didn't move my chart, bro. <laughs> this is, because I don't know I'm not going to move like this. You know? See, I, I, was, I was going to trade micro today. Imagine that. Imagine I've, I've taken this trade micro. What should I do with myself? <laughs> Imagine I take this trade micro. I would kill myself in the morning, actually. Did I miss the biggest two trades? We re we're acting now at the 1750 area. Tie your freaking stop, 1753.7. We're reaching the 1750 area. I will tie my stop. I will tie my stop, 1753. We're reaching now the 1750 area. I might tie it as much as I can. We, end, we are now at 1750 area. If I see any freaking volume up, I will close the trade immediately. But my stop is in a, in a good shape. My stop in a good shape. We are in a 1750 area. If we break the 1750 area, you're going to have a, a nice another 15 points. I guarantee you. If we break it, the 1750, which is the daily chart support. Do you guys see before, if you guys have an experience trading, do you see any trading system or any methodology can catch the bigger move before it happened, like you guys see here? Have you seen this before? Only because of one reason. Price action, volume. That's it. That's it. Market is freaking breaking the freaking shit, man. It's breaking the shit. It's breaking the shit. So market is gonna roll down. Market is gonna roll down, man. It's gonna roll down. Market is gonna roll down big time. Big time. You know why? Because all the algos, all the big big firms look at this daily chart support. If the breaks, oh, let's sell, let's sell, let's sell. So let's see. Or it might bounce up after uh, after it, like the bounce and then work and then go up again. I, I, buddy, I see now, I see buy orders coming. I see buy, the, or, buy orders coming. I'm gonna fucking hide my stop. 1750, 8.6. I don't wanna give this profit. Fifteen points now. We are in the freaking home run territory now. Look at this, guys. We enter the market right now. Can you imagine this? Here, here, in the chop zone. Anyone stay in the trade? You guys are. We're reacting now in another another area. Which is a one seven four seven point zero. Anyone stay in the trade? You guys out. Out five hundred profit. Nice. And you make a profit target today, Alan. Market now reacting at one seven four seven point two area. So I'm gonna tie my stop to be at one seven four eight point four. I don't want to give any profit to the market, but I see the momentum still down. I told you when a market break this, you're gonna have a nice week. Let's see. We are 20 points up now. 20 points. We're still in a good shape. Still in a good shape. I have a lot of chance to add more contracts, but I, I didn't. Anyway. I see volume upcoming. So keep your stop at the same. 
I see volume coming. If the market pivot, keep your stop, but let's see. Anyone else with good, with good profit or best today? And the market most likely gonna bounce up. Most likely, like 95% market gonna bounce up. At least for like at least for 10 points or 15 points. Yeah, we stopped up. That's it with a very nice trade. Very nice trade. We make almost 1500 bucks today in this uh, 15 minutes. And market stop freaking us out and completely downside. Let's see. Oh man, Mark, stop us out of the upside. This is shit. I'm out. I'm out. I got 20 points, which is 200 ticks. Very nice. Let's see this here. Beautiful drink. Beautiful. You know what? I like this trick. Why I changed my mind out of selling to trade my e-minis, not Michael? Because when I see this zone here and I see this market start breaking, so no, this is a beautiful trade. The best trade you can ever had when the market get out of consolidation like this. This zone, market break it, it will snap like this. And markets fucking move, man. <laughs> you still in trade? Nice, man. You still in? At 40 ticks, good job, good job. You're sticking with the rules more than me. <laughs> but I get out because I see, I see, I see, I see volume uh, picking up, uh, uh, by buying volume picking up. That's why, but it's fine. A45 is coming. That's with Sim. I'm done. You trade micro? Okay. There is another short here, but it's too late. Too late, man. Mark has already moved big time. So this is the first one, the second one, the third one. It's too late. It's too late to go short again. And if, if you if you still in a trade, you still in a trade. It should be still a trade until now. I want to measure now this trade if I st if I didn't exit early. How much points I should make until the pre close? So now from here, to there, twenty points. So my stop by system wise. By system wise, my stop should be at because I'm gonna add 20 ticks more. So my stop should be at 1750.8. This my stop should be 1750.8. And Mark is still moving on. Whoa. Another 22 points, shit. Man. 
Wow, man. Wow. My stock now should be system wise should be at 1749.4. 1749.4. If you are in a trade, you want to give it extra room, add your stop at 1749.4. You might catch another 20 points. You know. Any of the new folks here, take a straight life or Mike or Sam or what? So, 23 points from the entry and system wise. One second. System wise, you, st you stop should be at 1748.8. 1748.8 is you should be a stop if you are. Using my my methodology, which is at ten percent from the extra from the move, which is a 24, 24 ticks, we're gonna be we we move already to two hundred fifty two ticks, so we're gonna add twenty three ticks plus four, so we're stop gonna be uh, forty six ticks. Oh, sorry, sixty four ticks from the market price. This is the way you can stay at it. I didn't follow this rule today for unknown reason. Sometimes it happened with me. I messed up. But this methodology, 99%, if you have a home run, you will catch the home run until the end. Until the end, until die. So you will stop now by the by the system should be at. One seven four seven point eight. One seven four seven point eight. Told you the, the market when the market market break that one seven five zero. You will see a big move, but still market is reacting one seven five zero. By the way, still you know attached to. It. Still a trade if you are if you're trading, keep your stop 1747.8. Mark is moving. And Mark is moving out 25 points, 20 freaking five points. You stop now at the system wise, should be at 1747.4, 1747.4. And it should be up now almost 25 points. By the way, we catch all this move. Look at the 26 points. We catch all this move from the market. All of it. All of it. Because I'm, I'm kind of trend follower. Trend. I like to stay in a trend. In a trend. I'm hoping for the big move. I don't hope for like one point or two. Uh, should I enter market now? No, 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 no. It's too late. No, too late to enter now. Too late. Okay. 
Anyone want to see it? Hello? How many points are you, George? You made? I mean, the study is still working. Oh my God. 20 points? Nice. This study is still working. This study is still working. I'm so jealous now. I missed almost freaking six points now. I'm up 20, I'm in 24 points. Nice. 25 points, so your stop now should be at. So if you guys are staying a trade, your, st your white stop should be at Now is the ethical 1740 area, 1740. Psychology number it is act like a system of support. So let's see the market, the market, lock, the market break 1740. We will see another maybe 10 points or something. Yeah. There's two points different between R2 and M2K. Two points different. Yeah, you don't worry about this crap. It's okay, no need to worry about it. Still in the home run, I said, see what's going on with the ES today. You have this the same ES sell off? No, ES is chopping. Still we have a big chop, big move at the open, but choppiness, see? Look at the difference between here and there. Look at this and this. So r is way smooth move, like always. Ten EM is coming. Oh my God, the market is not going to stop. Holy shit. How come I stop? Uh, I exit this treatment. How come I did this to myself? <laughs> All right. It's okay. Holy crap. I st now, I, I, the, from, from the point I stopped out, I'm 10 now, 10 points. 10 points. Twenty-seven points from the internet. So your stop should be at one seven four five point five. One seven four five point five. Little bit stop. Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh Reader issue stopped out, lost 800. I think I have to fix it. I can jump on the same. No, 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 do not jump, please. Do not jump. It's okay. Next time. Do you think yeah, I, I missed already? I, I exit early, but do you see me jumping? I don't know. Nobody know if the market is going to completely sell off or bounce up. Nobody knows. If you look at the any indicator now, everything will see it is oversold. But it might continue downside. This is now it's like gambling, 50-50. You know. So 
So we stop now. If you are if you are still in trade, your stop should be at 1744.5. We should be staying at trade. Momentum is picking up upside. Buyers coming, but I don't know if it's still yet. Maybe like it's just freaking pullback. And it seems like it should be still in the trade still. 1744.8 should be still in the trade. I'm measuring now from the way I exit to the way I should my stop being now. I should up, I should be up five points and stand at rate. Anyway, that's a good listen. Because when you see moves like this. You have to take your chances. Man. Like I, today, I'm, I did three. I did two mistakes. I didn't add two. I didn't add contracts. Should add. I have like a three, four times the chance to add contracts. I didn't do it. This kind of double my profit, and I exited. This is not my, my 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 trading style at all. I always use wide stop for the last contract. That's the way I'm trading to catch the bigger move. But I exited. That's fine. And Max still moving. Thirty points now. I'm up 500 uh, 500 dollars, but still stamping. I'm staying out. Yeah, man, it's okay. You make a profit. Just go home. That's it. Twenty nine points. So if you stay in a trade, the stop should be at one second. One second. Should be at around one seven four four point three. This should be a stop. 1744.3. And I think the market will complete also. Hmm. See, I see that I see a diversion here. This is usually happened because the market moving so so much, so much. Right. But if the market, if the seller want to step it, step in and continue to sell off, you don't care about shit about doing diversion. And you stop now should be at Can you imagine the power of the sell off now? The market did not touch the 40 ticks mark stop only one time and it touched it by two ticks. So if you even use the 40 ticks only, you should be still a trade until now. This is how powerful the sell off now. Holy moly. Anyone here? Stay in the trade or all of you out? All out.
this kind of training style will let you catch the news move. The if you have any COVID stuff or anything happen, but make the market move big time, you'll catch the, the whole move. Hands down. 30 points. All right. Market now, this trade we took now is almost 30 points down. 30 points. Stop should be at 1742.5. 1742.5. Continue this fucking so off now. Continue. Holy crap. Holy moly. The stop now should be at 1742.8. Oh. Crude oil down 24. Woo! No, 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 man. Let's do this. It's recovering now. It's recovering. What's happening now? There's a news here. Market is moving up normal. Market moving up normal now. Is it a usual word? What's going on? Leading index, mom? Oh, man. It's got positive. That's one. And by the way, even, even after this big move upside, should be still a trade. As my system wise, should be still a trade. One second. Yep. Should be still, should, should still have it down to now. Your stop should be at 1743.1. This your stop should be. Even with this deeper pullback, it should be still at it. So I see now consolidation happening now after the big move, let's see. Here we go. I have this consolidation area, normal. Here. That's it. So if you're gonna break up, break up, down. let's see. <laughs> There's the market move, consolidation, 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 continue move downside or recover downside. And I see here, if you guys can see, there is a micro trend. There is a micro trend. What is this line? See, there is a chance to go long, but who crazy gonna go long against all this? Who? Yep, it should be stopped out now. And there's a chance to go long after I but not gonna go long now on this on this ship. You might catch like five, six points, but you know, it's kind of dangerous now. You take all against like, this momentum. No. No. Not this time. We're breaking 
we are breaking now the micro trend. Breaking the micro trend. Not yet. Yeah. So if you want to guys gonna continue short again, we might add still stop limit. I'm gonna take it on sim by the way. I'm trading on sim. It's breaking micro trend. So I'm gonna add my stop limit now. Still stop limit at 1739.2. 1739.2. This is uh one second. Nope. Cancel it. Cancel it. Cancel it. Not now. I will let you know. But I will trade on seven. So it's going to be short on seven. Micro trend in the same direction of the market. And this is not going to be the best trade because the market only move big time. But let's see. See them. See see them. What happened when the market break the the, the micro trend? See what happened? This is what happened. Snap. Let's see what's going on here. Still no, still in chop zone. Still training a chop zone. I didn't take this micro trend because it's a chop zone. I like to take micro trend when it's coming from consolidation. Like let's say here, break it out of this, boom, snap. Market may go up now. Well, maybe. I don't think it's gonna go up, up like 20 points or stuff, maybe like five, six points, eight points, like just some uh, retracement. But do, do not go against the momentum. You know? Market is going down. Just look for short. You know what I mean? Be safe. Have the odds in your favor. So the best time if the market move up like this, you can take the short, if you have any short positions coming after this consolidation to you guys, right? Market breaking the, the chop zone. So the most important thing like you, especially after night, open is different. Open, 
that you know what you know what can happen because you know market movers move the market to open. But after 15 minutes of market, you should have a rise. Are we uptrend? Are we downtrend? Are we chop? If you're uptrend, just look for long trade. Downtrend, look for look for short trade, market choppy, long trade. That's it. When we say the market move here at this resistance here or here, bounce down and continue downside could happen. So this is a short, this is a good short opportunity. Very good. You still have a good room to move until the session low. See? Market now gonna come kiss the shop zone area. Yeah, see this? Want to pick it up? There is another micro trend coming. Short signal. I'd like the, like the trend to be like up like this if you like it. But there is one. But I will, I will not take short to the chop zone because the market will react on this area. Chopping. And we see how come we get. Hmm. I got a short, not short. Yes. Three seven six six point seven five two hundred per minute short. We have a short breakout. But this is still long, maybe happen maybe after two, three hours. I will watch it uh, this afternoon. Three, seven, six, six point seven five, break it too short. Thirty minutes. I'll show you the screen. So this is the ES. This is the 240 minute chart I'm talking about. We have a short signal here coming. This is the bear flag. So 240 minutes is a four hour chart. So two bars mean the whole day. Right? See what happened in the market now? See what happened? See? See? All right. So watch the 3766.75. How many points we have to reach this area? I'm going to show you something that's going to make you blow up your mind. 60 ticks. So, yeah, we will watch it. We might go short, but this, like I said, this is a four hour chart. So, this trade, if we take it like a 
up to noon, we close it at maybe 4 p.m. So, and the stop loss is going to be huge because you're going to add your stop above this. What the way I'm trading is, I like I said, I, I, I see the bias and I trend the smaller time frame, the same bias for the market with the smaller stop loss. I want to show you something. It's going to blow up your mind. Market is reacting now on the market now is in the chop zone. 14 ticks, 14 points. This is the trade you take it today. You take it from here. No, this is the one I want to show you. The, this is the daily chart I was talking about. I told you this morning in the market, take this line here with we'll, we'll, we'll the pixel off 1350 and this we'll is what happened. Good oil. Twenty forty minutes short. I'm not going to chop this now. Again, we have a sell at breakout of the eighty two point forty area sell, but this is have to. You just do not jump sell, you have to watch the momentum, everything, but not, this is something to watch. 30 minutes. So like I see this overall momentum is down, but no choppiness, and we come out of the chop zone. It's the chop zone. Break it, come out of the short zone. So now, good oil. And we're going to see that market now all choppy because you know, market moves, especially R2I. <clears throat> if, you guys, if you guys watch the R2I now, it's in the short zone. See, it's in the short zone. Break it, come, short zone, blah, blah, blah. If you're a scalper, if you're a scalper, you're take like two, three points. You can trade against the one. That's fine. That would be straight. But scalp like three, four points, five points. But I'm not this type. Straight. I like to trade with the momentum and catch a big move. Let's so, R2 is high volatility. High volatility. You know why? You know why it's high volatility? You know, nobody know why? Especially only R2 is high volatility. Anyone know? Anyone know? Oh, that's cool. Because of the human, you no? Know, all the people say, all the traders and the group and the score and everything. Oh, watch. R2 is set off. Watch. R2 is set off. So what happened? Everybody jump in. Catch the thing that did piece. So everyone see now because of the area is choppy. So everyone say, okay, R2 is the move today. This is the street R2. Everybody jump in. That's why it's high volatility. We might get a chance to move short again, by the way. Breaking the session low. Let's see. Let's
Do you want to do the uh, last street? Just waiting. No. Good job. I think we should be done today. Uh, actually, this morning. I have a lot of stuff to do now. Right? That's it. Nice session. We have a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful two trades, good oil, RTY. And that's it. See you guys at 3.20 today. Okay. See you.